Our next project is a clay bead necklace. All sorts of natural materials like clay, seeds, nuts, and stone have been used for centuries in making beads in Peru. Here's what you'll need to make your beads. We have plastic lacing in all different colors, paint markers, these are opaque markers. We have different colors of, of wood beads and clay. And tools that we'll have on hand are your scissors, a pencil, and a little skewer. So let's get started. The very first thing you want to do is to protect your work surface. So I've laid some wax paper down so that my uh, clay won't stick to it. Then I'm going to go reach into my clay, make sure I put the lid back on, and I'm going to take um, about a walnut-sized piece of clay. I'm going to roll it between my hands, and as I said, this is an air-dry clay. So it's going to dry, depending on the humidity in your area, I'll determine how long it dries. Now, if you find you have any rough spots that you want to smooth out, you can use a little water on your hands. I'm just going to roll it on the table until I get a nice, perfect round. You can make ovals or whatever shape you'd like. I'm going to take my skewer and work it through. And I'm going to leave it on my skewer because it'll make it easy to dry. Now, if I wanted to make another shape, I might want to draw, make a, an oval. I'd work the same way and again put that on my skewer and let that dry. Now what I like to do is put it on a cup or a bowl and just and then uh, suspend it like that over overnight so that it will dry dry out. Just remember go back every once in a while and twist this to make sure it's not sticking to your skewer. So let me set that aside Oops. and put that down. Now I have one that's dried overnight. You can see it's nice and hard. And I'm going to go in and start drawing my design. So I'm trying to draw a traditional design that has that look of Peru. So I've drawn some concentric circles around. Then I'm going to draw a little kind of a pyramid shape or um, half of an X a geometric and, and let's just add one more. Now I'm going to take an opaque marker and I want to color my lightest color first. So let's start with the white. I'm going to color in one section and you can see these go on really, really easily. And if you need to get the paint flowing into the tip, just depress it and the paint will all flow down. There we go. And I'll just paint one section at a time. You want to take your time and be really neat. Make sure their paint is flowing down to the center so that you get that real thick, nice opaque look. And that's just a coloring project from here. So let's add a little bit of red. When it's all dry, you can also go back in and add some black lines. But Peru is known for these beautiful, vibrant colors. I've got my red. And let's add a green stripe, too, just so we can see. And I'll add one of the circles. You can hold this on your skewer, too, if it's easier to paint that way, but I find it's easier to hold it in my hands because it kind of twirls around on the skewer. Another tip is, is you could put it on a pencil or something to hold it as well. And you get those beautiful colors. If you want to, you can go over any area again as well. Now I've got one that's all painted here. I've taken a length of plastic lacing. Now this could be any color that you like folded it in half and poked it through. And then I'm going to string some beads. Now this is an optional step. If you want to add some wood beads, you might add some color beads. One thing, when you're working with jewelry, oftentimes you do things in odd numbers. So I'm going to add three on the bottom. Then I'm going to knot this to make sure that this won't go through my bead. And then I can add other beads on the side if I'd like. But let's take a look at the finished. I have an oval, I have a flat bead, I've got some different colors. Just get creative and try all different designs.